In this video, you'll learn how to create Morning Brew style newsletters in under five minutes inside Beehive. The best part is you don't need to know how to code. This includes how to create their signature email design, referral program, and more. First, go to write and post and click on start writing to create a draft. From here, you can turn off show title and subtitle in email. Instead of this, Morning Brew has a banner image with their logo. To replicate this, you can either upload your logo in the editor and then adjust the size accordingly or you can go over to settings in Design Lab and upload your logo where it says thumbnail under the email header settings. By doing this, your logo will appear in the header automatically in any of your future posts. Now it's time to create the iconic Morning Brew section borders. First, let's create a section by clicking on the icon on the left hand side that's next to the plus button and click on group to section. To create a visible border around this group, click on the same icon again and go to visual settings. From here, you can go to borders and adjust the settings accordingly. To create a border similar to Morning Brews, you can type in 15 pixels for the radius and 0.5 pixels for the thickness. In addition to this, you may also want to change the color of the border so that it's a bit lighter. So just click on the color picker tool and choose something very faint. Once you're done creating this visible border, now you also want to adjust spacing. I found that five pixels for the inner and outer spacing looks good, but here you can adjust it to your liking. Now that you're done with the borders, let's work on the headings and subheadings. You'll notice that Morning Brew subheadings usually describe the section as a category. Things like e-commerce, retail, sponsored, basically describing the section. You'll also notice two other things. The subheading is always in all caps and it's in a different color. Go ahead and type out the subheading name in all caps and to change the color of the text, highlight it and click on the text styles icon. From here, you can select one of the preset colors or you can choose a custom one from the color picker and once you're done, click on set color. We're also gonna change the text to H2 or heading to and set the font size to medium. If your H2 text isn't bolded by default, you might wanna bold the subheading or you can change your H2 settings in the design lab and set it to bold. After you're done this, type out your heading as well. This will also be in H2. An important thing to note is you should be holding shift when creating a line break so that there's no extra space between the subheading and heading. If you create a line break by pressing enter without holding shift, you'll see there's a big gap between your subheading and heading. So when you're making your heading, just make sure to hold shift and press enter at the same time. The last thing we need to do for this section is create a colored underline for any hyperlinks. To change the color and settings for how links appear, head over to settings in design lab and from here go to body text. If you scroll down, you'll see inline hyperlinks as an option and you can toggle on underline and select a color from here. Now just populate the rest of your newsletter with images and text. And after you're done all that, you have something like this. At the bottom of your post, you can also drop in a referral program similar to Morning Brews. And the great thing is you can do this easily in the editor. Just press slash to access the menu and select the referral program. If you don't have one set up yet, go over to grow in a referral program and here you can set it up. This is a super fast and easy way to organically grow your list. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to set up the referral program, check the link in the description. If you want to reuse this template for the future, go ahead and save it in the bottom right. And now whenever you go to write and post, you can start from this template instead of starting from scratch. That's it for this tutorial. Comment below what you want to learn next.